Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $84,903.36. In the past year, I am up $6,910.93. Year to date for the year 2024, I am down $7,050.21. Today was a red day for me. During the day, I lost $1,356.05. After hours, I am down $1,292.71. So overall, about $2,500 lost. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I am selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $98. I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return $180. I'm selling SoFi $6 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return $28. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return, $50. I'm selling SoFi $6.5 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $30. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, $6. I'm selling SoFi $7.5 covered calls. These expire August 16th. My total return, zero. I have Amazon $120, $110 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $18. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $4. I have a Disney diagonal spread. I bought the Disney $70 call expiring December 19th, 2025. And I'm selling the Disney $100 call expiring October 18th of this year. My total return, I am down $112. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spread. These expire December 20th. My total return, $710. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $570. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $203. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $50. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $160.75. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $18,547.91. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.26. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $3,820.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. 
Disney is at $85.40. My average cost, $60. My total return, $7,619.70. I have 100 shares of Google. Google's at $157.29. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $1,000. $480.73 This is a margin account. My margin total is $81,321.28 My margin used is $40,096.28 My options collateral is $39,100 This leaves me with $2,125 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $15,235.73. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.75%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $7.35. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So today, down a couple thousand dollars. Now I'm at... 85,000 around there. There are four positions that expire. Actually, never mind, not four. There's one, two, three, four, five positions that expire this Friday. My Disney $90 puts that I'm selling, Disney $100 covered calls, Google $170 covered calls, SoFi puts, SoFi, uh, you know, six and a half dollar puts, different strike prices. And these all expire on Friday. Um, once they do expire, I think some of my money is going to be freed up. So I'm going to have more money in buying power, depending on what happens. But from the looks of it, I think I'm going to have some money freed up after the expiration date. But we'll see. Right now, SoFi is above $6, but it's below six and a half, six dollars and twenty six cents. $6.26. So at the current price... With these ones, I'm going to keep my premium and then keep my cash that I'm using as collateral. For these ones, since I chose a strike price of six and a half, I might actually get assigned those shares, but we'll see. It's not set in stone yet, you know. Right now, it's hovering around that price, so it could be above six and a half, it could be below. We'll see what happens on Friday. Google, I highly doubt it's going to hit 170. Right now it's at 157. But who knows? It could happen. Disney. The thing is, Disney reported earnings and it did really well. They reported good numbers. Um, if we go to the stock and scroll down. So if we go to Disney. We scroll down. Yeah. So earnings estimated is what estimated was $1.19 per share. Actual was $1.39 per share. So they beat expectations for earnings. However, the stock price went down anyways. How unfortunate. But yeah, right now, I don't think it's going to hit $100 by the end of the week. I just don't think so. Now, as far as my $90 puts... That's uh, very unlikely, but it could still happen, right? 85 right now, uh, who knows? But yeah, I'll keep on making more updates, letting you guys know what happens. A lot of it is just very close, too close to call. Like, I don't really know for sure if it's going to be above or below my strike prices. Anyways, I'll keep on making more updates to keep you guys, you know, in the loop with how my portfolio is doing. But for now, that's pretty much all I have to report. If you guys like this type of content, you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching and thank you. Good night.